Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to The Last Sunshine Rekindled, which is about, as far as I can tell, a star at the end of, I, I guess, at the heat de death of the universe? I don't know. I'd be stumbling over my, my tongue a little bit. I've got quite the headache. I'm going to turn the sound effects down, and we're just going to dive right in. Oh. <laughs> Tip, if you keep your health above zero, you won't die. Wow. That's revolutionary. Alright, this is Soul. Yeah, so it's a twin-stick shooter roguelite. Darkness has taken root here. Find its source and kill it. Okay, so I've got left-click and then right-click. Seems like these suckers are... Or the environment is kind of toasty. Can I do anything? Fallen stars, many stars have become corrupted. They cannot be saved. Okay, so it seems like going for the weird plants along the edges aren't really worth it. All right, I gotta, I gotta say, I love the vibe of all of this. Hello. Remnants from the old war. These are dangerous. Avoid them if you can. Probably the, the red, red bits. It's fair. Trite. Oh, that's Stardust. There's a heavy meta progression system. I know that much. Ow. Ow. But I regenerate. I have very slow natural healing, which is actually something to keep in mind and benefit from heavily. Uh, can, can I? Yeah. Unavoidable danger. Find the path of least resistance. Ow. Okay, defense against the darkness. Soul heals over time. Health drops grant health regen. So toggle for inspection. Inspection gives me presumably... What is... What's the difference between purple and red? Oh! Purple is death. Okay, well, that's rough. Didn't even get any cores. <laughs> I died on the tutorial. It said the path of least resistance. I don't know which is the most amount of resistance. There's also that, which actually seems sick, and I should probably use it more. Okay, can I... I guess I can just scoot through. Hello, fallen stars. They, they cannot be saved. Can I leave? No. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna sc scoot through the tutorial real quick. As opposed to... slowly. Oh boy! That's a... That's a freaky, freaky doodad right there. This is apparently the source of darkness for the tutorial, and boy, I am just, I am, I'm, ah, uh, uh, it's a giant thing with teeth. Look, I don't know. Wow, I just destroyed it. Press F to restore sanctuary. Okay, I was, I was not expecting a giant just nibble beast, but that's fine. All right, use a cosmic bridge to return to this area in the future. Interesting. We've got this. Do I have any more? Nope. It's got kind of a Path of Exile style uh, system. Okay, here we go. So we have light difficulty, normal difficulty, mildly ch challenging enemies, to lose course on death, star level zero plus. Cool. Uh, and we can be Soul, Vega, Titan, Calidius, or Gemini. Well, I'm stuck with this. We'll just work our way through. It's an interesting concept. The artistry of it is quite nice. Simple in some cases, but it's got clear art direction that carries it pretty hard. And the colors are nice and pleasant to look at. Oh, okay, so we've got a lot of things to look at, too. I should probably check. Okay, so what does this do? Nope. I guess there's nothing I can do anything with at the moment. Yeah, I might as well just destroy some of these plants in the meantime. If I cannot pass, then I might as well leave it for later. I don't know what's going on up over here. Something's getting stanky, and I don't understand it. What if I pick this up? No, it doesn't look like I can. Well, that's okay. I think I might just have to leave that there and just not think about it. Okay, so we're trying very hard not to eat too many hits, or any hits. Oh. Celestial Forge, but what is this thing? I have no idea. 
I guess we will find out. It, it seems like there's quite a lot of different layers of progression here. Oh, okay. So I can get one fusion alert. So fusion of swiftness, so increased projectile attack rate and velocity. Uh, let's see. So extra damage, but lowers velocity or just projectile size. I, did, I had enlargement. Okay, choose an attack skill. Okay, so now the, now the shotgun shots are even bigger. I don't actually know if that's that helpful, but sure. I wonder how many of those I can stack. Oh, the Q skill might have actually been the better one to upgrade, though I didn't see if it was actually available. Oh, you can destroy these for resources. I will keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, there was a thing there. I Learning. Learning is fun. Yeah, so maybe the... Uh, the blue goodies. Give me stuff. Okay, it's good to know. And good to keep an eye out for all of the other available bits. Because some of them might be helpful. Yeah, I'm just going to break everything as we go by. I still can't go in there. That's okay. Is there anything interesting in here? It doesn't look like I take collision damage on the edges. So that's a good sign. Yeah, let's just break this grab funding. And this is where I came from. Because I can use the Cosmic Bridge. Go back here. Yeah. So I can go back freely. Oh, okay. So it reset. I'm going to give myself like one in movement speed and then a couple in health. There we go. Now I'm a decent chunk faster. What is this? Open attack skills. Oh. Solar stream energy burst. Energy burst. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's more I can do with this. So we'll have to leave that for later. Oh, and I can just warp back to these whenever I feel like it. Interesting. It's very much not run-based. This might actually be more proper roguelite. Proper roguelite? I don't even know. The distinction is so damn fuzzy at this point that, like, everything is a roguelike or a roguelite, and sometimes meta progression is not a... Not the determining factor on what makes a roguelite a roguelite. And that, you know, you very much could have... I mean, like, even to the point where there's some question on whether or not Risk of Rain is even properly a roguelite anymore. Or if it got edged out by all of the, like, kind of pseudo-adjacent roguelikes. It's murky. Frankly, I don't mind it too much. Anything that is kind of rogue-adjacent... Both in terms of gameplay, but also, uh, you know, certain design conventions. Namely, permadeath and short run-based gameplay is usually pretty satisfying for me. Oddly enough, like, most traditional roguelikes tend to actually be quite long. And you're supposed to be, uh... You're supposed to be on those runs for, you know, hours sometimes. It really makes me think I should go back and play, uh... NetHack to completion someday. Just once. But I know that would take, like, forever. So it's a little tougher for me to want to immediately put the time in. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's just the teleporting uh, teleportation network. Let's just go up here, see what this is. This is the cosmic bridge. Open the chest with the key. Okay, so there's some other kind of progression here. Uh, it is apparently a corrupted chest. Good to know. I'm just gonna kind of chill. Ah, looks like it was just funs. I was hoping it would give me a, a neat feature. I don't know. I I really want a roguelike someday that just has like so many different parallel upgrade paths and you know functionalities that like you can't actually even access all of them in one run. Boy, there's an ugly sucker in there. Ow. That's fine. I got plenty of regen. 
Oh, it's even uglier now that I'm looking at it. Because there's the blob, but there's also the giant horror mouth that I didn't even like process was there at first. I want to stay away from that for a hot moment and see what else is here. Because I, I know for a fact there's more out this direction. Also giving the shotgun extra size is kind of fun. <laughs> I got questions on the worth, but it's worth it all the same. At least to me. Okay, what is this? Celestial Forge. Projectile attack rates. Velocity damage. With this being plus five, does that slow me down then? Maybe, maybe not. I, I can't tell if I'm attacking slower. Okay, so that's a shield. Can I check the map? There's a little bit more, so let's not go in there yet. Especially because there's a couple of upgrades I can potentially buy. I don't know how much moolah I have. But I'd like to get all the way over here. Let's see, base health regen. A lot of base power, base health. Yeah, let's just grab that. Can I get this one? No, too expensive. Okay, so my power's up. And now I have way higher health and health regen. Should be solid. Go back, let's explore this area. After this, I think I'm gonna start investing hard into uh, movement speed and everything in that immediate vicinity. That red thing is a little unsettling to behold. Oh, challenge the usurper. Interesting. Uh, do we? Sure. Okay, so it looks like it's a, a kind of bonus boss region. Freaking ouch. Okay. Holy smokes. Uh, never mind. It's not as much of an issue as I thought it was going to be. Where did it go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, that's... A very good point that I should have paid attention. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. Okay. That's good to know. So, do not fight those until you are very ready. However, we've picked up some cores. So, health increased, health regen increased, man increased, power increased, and new power available. So, drops. Increased drops. Uh, well, I have nothing else, so I guess we might as well grab... Probably the health tier. Nothing more. New game. Let's give this another shot. Uh, let's see, and I've got to find remnants before I can get the rest of them. Yeah, do not fight the mid-bosses. And I really desperately needed... I think my regen was good, but the other thing I desperately needed was uh, way more movement speed. I am but a flimsy lad. And some investments into... Movement speed. I mean, I was a durable lad, but the problem is durability only goes so far when everything is able to just chase you down and beat you into into the ground, into non-existence. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave mid-bosses like that for, for late later, just because. Don't think we need to use the cosmic bridge right next to an entrance of a sort. Beauty. Okay, anything else? Not really. 
actually know if... No, no. Hitting those does actually seem to give me resources. All right. And it also does seem like... Yeah, the more you level up, the more you do get stronger, too. So it's not just... Uh, it's not just the meta progression. It's not the interior currency, but there is just, like, full-on you level up between runs. And that makes you that much stronger. It certainly feels like I'm chewing through these guys quicker. But some amount of that might just be because I'm that much more aggressive. Because I understand their pattern, so I'm not quite as concerned. Happens. Uh, let's see, there's definitely an area up here. The map doesn't look like it, but the map is apparently often wrong. There we go. Might want to up the... whoop. Ow. I might want to up the fire rate. Okay, I can open the chest. Oh. Which does have something. I do not know what those are going to be. Guess we will find out momentarily. Oddly enough, I'm actually getting spore vibes from this. I guess it's not, it shouldn't be that weird. It's just got kind of that, that like, spore, uh, single cell phase vibe to it. The, the kind of parallax background, the amoeba-like enemies, and so on and so forth. Not that it matters too much. Okay. Grab him. Grab whatever this is. Or, no, this has to open up. Based on, I think, just being bodied. Or not bodied. Uh, based on enemies in the area potentially getting bodied. I, I think? I don't know what it is. Oh, there's also a glowy green thing here. Well, it's open now. Oh. Ow. That didn't actually hit me. Look at whatever that is. I there's so much there's so much that I don't understand. I'm sure it'll take just a little bit, and then then once we're further in, I'll truly understand. I'm gonna hold off on that celestial forge for a little bit longer. I don't know if it powers up based on the amount of enemies in the area that I kill. It's unlikely for that to be the case, but you never know. Okay, Celestial Forge, projectile attack rate, but reduce velocity. Damage, velocity, or size, but it reduces my damage. The size is real tempting, but no, let's, let's learn haste. Because now I can, now I can rapid fire, eh, relatively rapid fire the shotgun. I don't really care about the projectile speed being slow. But being able to just pile tons and tons of them out seems really worthwhile. Ooh. Ow. My shields are holding. Nope. 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 Boy. Okay, there's gotta be something else over here that I can go for first. Ah, there goes my shield. I just want to go for everything else. Grab that real quick. Because the gigantic blobs are a nuisance. However, they're mostly just area... Area dispersal. Whereas conversely, you know, taking out all the shooters seems like a better idea. But there still was was one in the mix. Alright. Let's grab this. Doesn't necessarily help me too much, but that's okay. I'm not seeing anything else I've missed in the area. I can I check? Oh, I can check a map if I press M. We'll just keep kind of wandering. I guess that would have been a good spot for me to use my big nuke. Maybe.
I don't know. Some question there. There we go. That was a good spot for it. Okay, then we have that. Which is creepy and concerning. It looks like it's gotta be the the way out of here. And I don't wanna touch it much. So projectile attack rate, damage attack rate, or attack rate, but even ooh, upgrade. There we go. Look at that. They're slow as biscuits, but at the same time. It does a honking big load of hurt. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. Did I mention in this video that I got a headache? I don't know. I, I've got a bad headache, but I don't have much of a choice. You know, there's only so many... <laughs> there's only so much medicine you can take before it becomes silly. Uh, let's go down here. I'm going to get probably a couple into speed. See, that's health regen and movement speed. Not the worst idea. Okay. Let's apply that. So now I'm much, much faster. And my regen is 17 per second. Okay. That's like 10 seconds to get rolling. So sanctuary, click point. All right, let's go back here. But now I have way more movement speed, so I don't feel like I'm just the most sluggish thing in the in the universe. There we go. And yeah, I've got a cloud of bullets to carry me forward. What else do we have here? Challenge the birthing mother. Uh But how about not? We'll leave that. Okay, so projectile damage, projectile velocity. I don't really care about velocity. Okay, there we go. Let's just go back. I'll probably want to just buff up my maximum HP a bunch after this, and then we'll... I don't know. Good luck coming at me, chump. I am very dangerous, I think. There's a lot of these guys. It's okay. Toast you. Don't do anything major or risky. And delete bug. Yeah, we're good. A very strange game, because like half of these enemies don't even react to my generalized presence. It's like I'm not even there. They're just kind of blorbing. I mean, it makes my life easy, but it's questionable. Uh, then again, similar things were kind of true of uh, Binding of Isaac now that I'm thinking about it. Some of the enemies definitely were just kind of set pieces. And there was... it was a little sad. Uh, let's see, so can I upgrade any of these? Extra projectile size... Grab this. To change or equip any learned fusion in the safe zone. Fusions can be equipped on both attacks simultaneously. Oh. Good to know. Okay, we've got one more. And then... Probably go, go for the upgrade and then we fight. Is the mid-boss the boss or is that weird void portal of the boss? Okay, no, these are these are most most definitely the upgrades. Uh, let's see, projectile size, enlargement, fusion of enlargement. Okay, I want that. So, let's go grab upgrades. I bet that weird mouth circle is probably either the next bot, like the real boss, or more likely the uh, the next zone, and then we fight the boss. Okay, so a lot of base health. Otherwise, I could go for some base power. Nah. 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab some some of this. Nope, can't grab that one. Okay, there we go. Okay, one way or another, I think we're in a good spot, at least for now. Doesn't look like there's anywhere I can go, so let's go back to this one. Uh, let's go see if we can take out one of the mid-bosses. I'm much faster than it was previously. Oh, well, this is an amount. Or no, that was some mana. That is not much mana, though. Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's just start firing them out. I'm assuming with the name The Birthing Mother, it summons goons. But I might not have to fight. Or it, it itself might not be the most aggressive thing ever. And with my, like, super shotgun spread blasts, I'm in kind of a good spot to just wail on this thing. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Each one of those blobs just spits out some dudes. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of a concern if I leave this for too long that we might get something gnarly to pop out, out of one of these. Ooh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. But, I mean, we've already got it halfway down. So I guess I don't have too much to concern myself with. Yeah, let's just burn burn through every single one of these groups. The nice part is the reduced velocity does not actually reduce the range. It just gets, takes longer to get there. Which is perfectly fine with me. I have no idea what that does. Go with that. And just try and punch my way through as many of these guys as possible. Okay, so this one was not nearly as bad. It's... I mean, there's certainly a lot of foes. I wish they gave me currency, because it would be... It's kind of super nice to be able to, you know, just... Farm a boss for some resources. But... Rarely do games actually let you do that, and that's a bit of a shame. But it's okay. Alright. Do we fight the other guy? I'm... I'm feeling... I'm feeling confidence. Shall we? Yeah. I, well, hold up. Do I have enough for even a single passive? I do. Gotta make it count. Base movement speed. I gotta be... I gotta be relatively quick. I'll make my life easier. Grab another one of these. I do not know what these glowy orbs are. Okay, anything else in here? No, but here's the thing. I'm going to preemptively destroy everything here. Because this way, I won't get stuck on as much. This guy was a doozy the last time we fought him. However, I've got a couple of meta, meta upgrades under my belt, and I'm a lot faster. Yeah, so I can... I can kind of outspeed the chasers. There you go. And if they lose tracking... Okay, cool. So I know how to get away from the trackers as well. Ow. That's fine. I have plenty of shields. Where did he go? I've lost him. Oh boy. It's fine. My health regen is like 20 per second. That's really good. And yeah, this extra movement speed goes far. Yeah, I just have to weave. There we go. I've lost him. Nope. I have not. Here he is. Okay. Don't take too much damage here. Regen will cover it. I think he's dead. Yep. We're good. Got another one. Still a little bit of a doozy, just because a lot of enemy, or a lot of things to avoid. A lot of things to worry about, but otherwise I think we're good. Alright, let's go find that weird gibbering mouth hole. As I regret saying the things that I just said, but that's okay. So we're going down here. This is a neat game. It's definitely weird. Uh, 
I'm trying to decide how much depth it's going to have. Because that's, that's the one thing. That Binding of Isaac set the stage. Binding of Isaac and... Uh, and Gungeon set the stage for, like, most roguelikes that followed to, you know, it's like, well, set the stage? The, uh, set the standard. And so there's always that question of just, like, you know, do these subsequent games, roguelikes in the same genre, have enough gumption to kind of stand out? Or do they, you know, do they have enough special sauce? That reminds me of the other game that I wanted to play. I kept trying to remember. I knew there was a game that I wanted to play. Eh, I'll get to it after. This looks kind of spooky. <gasps> Prince Veracity, Devourer of Dreams. Well, I'm glad I fought those mid-bosses, though I'm not sure how much that even helps. Ow, that's fine. Rip shields, but who needs them anyway? So it looks like we're popping the... It looks like we're popping the shell off of this dude. For better or worse. Oh, those come back in. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Are we popping the shell off of him? Or are we... Are we diminishing him with every hit? I can't tell. It looks like I'm popping the shell off. Okay, I don't want to be in range of any of the purple stuff as it goes back in. Okay. So it looks like I am breaking the shell. As evidenced by the fact that I am destroying it here. There we go. Uh, is it dead? No. It's just big mad. Okay, and it has apparently some extra bits. The cannon will shoot at me from behind. It looks like it turns really slowly though. Oops. Oh, I can kill these. Okay, I'm so glad I invested as hard as I did into life, uh, like, regen. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of hang out here. Okay. Lord, Lord Blobulus is now firing in my general direction. It, it seems like he just rotates and shoots. What I want to do is kill off one of these. There we go. Oh, but we do lose the cover. Arguably worth it. Okay, and then I just have to watch out for a couple of these. Because, yeah, if I only have one that I have to hide behind. Actually, no. I don't think I need to hire, hide behind anything. That seems unnecessary to me. Hang here. Keep shooting. Ow. Grip shield. That's okay. I don't really use shield to begin with. Yeah, let's... Just kill this critter. There we go. Because my logic is... The less things I have shooting at me... As I'm, like, traversing, or spinning around the the boss, the better. Okay. And that's a bit of a concern. He's there. I'm just going to pile shots in his general direction. Now, do we only have one more of these? No, there's a second one. Yeah, I think we have to kill the adds first. Because the main boss himself is not actually that hard to fight. There 
There we go. I just have to hide behind. But I should be able to just avoid that, that general center, center bit. I think what I'm probably going to do is leave that last one if it turns out that I'm wrong. Because there's only a bit of a salvo that I have to dodge. And that is, in fact, Big Hurdy. Hmm. And luckily, I've got more than enough HP. It's just a matter of, is he going to turn fast enough? I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get up in here. Because I can hit him. Nah, I'm just going to eat that. Yeah, that, that salvo of his is a little spooky. So we'll just wait for it to pass. And then I'll get in there. I've done a decent chunk of damage. I just have to wait for it to get to me. No reason to take unnecessary risks. Yeah, there's no way I'm dodging through that. That's just too fast. That wasn't so bad. And I just don't want to get... I don't want to get caught too much here. Ow. Fine, we're fine. I'm just mostly worried about the big purple blobs. Because those might actually be deadly. Oh. Eh, that's coming. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I I maybe could do the rotational thing, but I think it's better that I just stay super cautious. We're good. There's no risk. I love the art style for all of this. It's very freaky. Very creature between the dark spaces... Or from the dark spaces between stars? I don't know. There's a better better phrase for all of this. Oh. It's kind of a bad place to be, but that's fine. All I have to do is just kill him a smidge. He's almost dead. There he goes. Okay, bank your cores. Oh, that's the things I've been picking up this entire time. Yeah, those are cores. Sure. That's our progression system. Okay, so that was Harvest Acres. Now we're on to the Crescent Plains. RNG can be a cruel mistress. Sometimes you need to go another way or come back later. Huh. I'm assuming I can't do anything with cores currently. How much do I have? 218. Not bad. I think the next order of business... Let's see, what does this do? If we suffer damage, gain 50 current movement speed for 3 seconds. Eh. Base shield is added to bonus shield. And base shield amount is added as bonus health. Hmm. Otherwise, we just invest hard. In health. Uh, let's not do those. Let's go this direction. Nope. Can't do any more. Yeah, let's just go for base power. Hit like trucks. Because the more of that I can get, the better. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's just attack skills. So that's how I can switch things around. Can I go through here? Yes, there's like a big freaky beak thing. Okay, so what do we have? Upgrade. Uh, extra projectile damage, extra attack rate. Yeah, let's upgrade that. And we're good. Okay, now, this is the usurper. I don't know, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. 
If I die, I die. Or is it just the same dude again? Oh, it's just the same dude again. Fair enough. I mean, it works. He's definitely a little faster than he was the last level. I've also lost track of him. He's somewhere in this mess. There he is. Okay, got him. And there's also apparently a bunch of little mites that decided to come say hi. Oh yeah, there we go. Because the floodgates just opened. Oh, there's a giant saw blade monster. Okay, so this this got a little bit more hectic. I appreciate that. Yeah, it definitely seems like movement, movement speed and health for the first level, and then after that you want to invest hard. Generally towards uh, damage. On the plus side, I'm going to be able to afford like every upgrade. Okay, so what do we have in here? Oh, it's a treasure chest. That would explain a lot. I definitely wish this game had some more interesting upgrades. I haven't seen anything particularly exciting so far. It's been mostly just like percentage plus and minuses that, you know, one of the things I was talking about is that like, because Binding of Isaac and Gungeon kind of uh, set this standard, it's a little tougher for a lot of, uh, a lot of other roguelikes to kind of follow in their footsteps. And so often when I play some of these games, there's definitely like that feeling of, well, why would I play this over that? And I always, you know, big question about it. And the nice part is like this one, for example, assuming that they plan on developing it further, there's plenty of room to uh, expand and improve and iterate and add more stuff. Uh, let's see, so projectiles, size, attack rate, damage. Upgrade size, though. I think I'm just going to stick with the sluggish projectile of rune. I'm going to go find some. Uh, let's see. Gotta go find some keys. I don't know where we're going to find any. It doesn't matter too much. Hello, suckers. There we go. And then I should probably also hit this thing. Instead of, you know, walking into the, the dark vent. I mean, maybe it's not a problem, but you never know. Wouldn't be the first time that I I see like, or I just walk into a flame flame jet and just insta die. Games have a weird tendency of just kind of doing that. All oh, right, I've got I've got uh, control. It says there's a core in here. Oh yeah, there is. I should uh, I should leave control on. Wonder if something is specifically summoning these fiends my direction. Yeah, that that black hole looking thing seems to be spawning them. M maybe. It's a tier 1 cur and fiend. And it seems to have kind of a defensive halo of dudes. Rip shields. Not really built towards shields, though. Boy, something in there is stanky. Let's go with this. Ooh, that looks interesting. I'm not entirely sure of like what half of this stuff does. Okay, there we go. So what is that? Skill from the old war. Dunno. I guess we will find out at some point. 
Let's just kind of plonk away at some of these guys. Ooh. I mean, I guess I can just eat a hit so I don't get hemmed in here too hard. There we go. Just kind of slowly push my way through. So this, this mess seems to be the... Seems to be the next portal. Yeah, looks looks to be the the next portal or boss portal, I guess. There we go. We definitely need to invest way more into damage. I'm doing fine, but oh, there's the chest at least. Ow, I deserve that. Why is there Kura in the wall? How is there a cur in the wall? Or was it... No, no, no. That is 100% in the wall. There's a bloat there. Whole thing is just a mess. I mean, who knows? Do I actually take damage for that? I do. Okay. It's just less of a problem because I have got just tons of HP regen. There we go. Now let's just pile shots in this general direction. Don't have to worry about too much of the damage here. It's a little hard to track everything. Grab the key. Okay, no, we have the key. Okay, shall we go get the key? Maybe? I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little stuck. There's also this over here. Ah, uh, sure, we'll give it a lot. Look, Void Heart. Interesting. Or... Projectile damage, projectile attacks. Right. Yeah, it seems worthwhile. Do I fight the Void Heart? Eh, let's go grab some upgrades first. Oh, no, Void Heart. The Virus Worm. I mean... I, di I dig a lot of the aesthetic here. You know what? No, 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 no. We'll go until we hit a, a fast travel point. There's only so many enemies left anyway. This is looking, yeah, way more doable. Despite the obvious just massive dudes in this immediate area. There we go. I can just cook him down. I just have to be patient. Okay. Kerr might be a little bit of an issue. Nope. Kind of nothing is. There's even left. Another Kerr. Well, I think I figured out how the Kerrs are in the walls. This place is maze-like. Okay, anything else? A vent. It's a dense sucker, let me tell you that. Okay. Anything else in here? Well, I got kind of what I was looking for. Oops. Who? That's a lot of bad. How the hell are there so many? I have no idea. But we did find our teleporter. It's just down here and through all of this mess. I don't know, actually. It's, it seems like some of these guys did just spawn inside walls. Whew. Well, I guess I'll just keep my distance briefly. Ow. Rip shield. Rip me. Grab all of that. Grab the health. But the, the health regen is particularly good. Okay, cool. <sighs> I have a lot of points here. Let's see, power base shield.
Okay, can't quite buy that. But I can get at least a fair bit more power. This one's maybe still useful if I want to give myself some base health. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we want to go back to the Cosmic Bridge and here. Level is dense. Got a lot of enemies and I'm just kind of slowly plinking away at them. I'm doing fine. I think so much of it boils down to uh, being able to do or have health regen, especially massive amounts of health regen. Ooh, dash remnant, blink skill remnant. Oh, maybe that's it. Part of the reason why we don't have the most interesting of a build is because I'm supposed to unlock it all. That's probably it. I don't know. I I want more interesting abilities, though. Doing a bunch of damage like this is very effective. Yeah, because these, these guys were pretty aggressive previously. Now I feel like I can actually uh, clear them out pretty quickly. It's also just, like, really hard getting a word in edgewise with, like, half of these foes. Gosh. Okay, let's grab the next core. Okay. I see another curve. I just... They're definitely spawning. I, I think there's some kind of black hole monster in the heart of one of these zones that spawns extras. Maybe? It's a little unclear. Okay, delete the fiend before the fiend can harass me into non-existence. Got that. Kill you. And then I think everything else is golden. It's not like those guys are the ones doing the summoning, it, is it? I have no idea. Revenant of Kalidus. Oh! Oh! No, that's a boss teleporter. Interesting, so there might actually be multiple. Multiple ways out of here. too much about taking damage. I'm in a very good spot, so I should be able to just kind of punch my way through. There we go. Anything else? Ah, I deserve that. Grab the core. I think for the next boss, I might just kind of honorable Sudoku my way in. Hmm. And not really much I could have done done to avoid that damage. I guess I could have left the way I came in. That would have solved it, but whatever. If I check. Let's go. Let's go to the right. I don't know how much is left. This whole place is a maze. Every time I play one of these games, I'm just reminded how much I really want, like, a Diablo style roguelike. It probably exists, but I've never seen anything that like fits the bill. Fully. I mean, I guess you could play it, like, hardcore. And that'd be the trick. But I want the experience of, like, a Diablo-style game. But the runs only last for, like, three hours. I feel like there's got to be something that, that does that, and I've just missed it. There's a lot of really good, like, alternatives. A lot of really solid Diablo-style games. And, like, a number of them have kind of roguelike modes. Nothing really what I'm looking for. So that thing is an elite trite. It's fair. Okay, whatever that was, big mad. Anything else, though? Nope. Oh, yeah, and one of those was, like, a Stardust Cluster worth about 100? Oh. Oh! That's where those, like, big blastos come from.
Okay. Every once in a while, there's just like a giant wave of something shooting at me. And I was curious about what it was. There we go. Let's get out of the way of that. Okay, we have a Celestial Forge here. Projectile attack right, reduce damage, or mole projectile size. Not that we're actually planning on using it. There we go. Anything else? Nah, just some breakable bits. Okay. Oh, what do we have down here? This map is not the most distinct. I was really hoping it would actually, you know, not miss bits. Ooh. Hers are nasty spitters. Okay, but I can just kind of chill. Might as well just hang and chill and wait. I guess I should probably kill this guy. He's the biggest source of spam that I'm having to deal with. Delete vent. Delete you. And it doesn't really matter how much damage I take, to be honest. Maybe it's tacky to just kind of Rambo in, but my health regen really does just carry me. Which, speaking of, let's go make it better. How much dosh am I sitting on? Decent chunk. Do I have that? I do. So I'm not going to be able to get that one yet, but that's okay. Let's just do that. Gets me even more health and even more regen. Okay, and then warp back down here because this area is a weird mess. I don't actually know what's going on. Uh, what the hell? All that extra power is certainly paying dividends. Okay, so I think it's another one of those like black holes like angry black holes that you have to like really punch your way through. Actually, it seems like there might be multiple of them. Oh, plus like an elite shooter and a couple other things. Yeah, let's just punch through those guys and probably kill the vent just so I have somewhere to hide. Okay. There goes one of the two. There goes two of the two. Let me just get back out here and whatever's left is considerably weaker than it was. Oops. Don't worry about it. Ow. It's just a little guy shooting me in the butt from behind. He's gonna say Bafar and I'm like, that's not a thing. Looks like we're good. So if I check the map, yeah, there's another teleporter there. And we already fought the one mid boss. Uh, yeah. 47. Oh. I guess let's just do... Oh, you know. Oh, that's interesting. This is a lot cheaper. Or it's not letting me. I have no idea. Doesn't really matter. I guess let's go back here. Go fight that worm. Let's go fight that worm and then honorable Sudoku straight into the boss. I think this run's gone on more than long enough. And... It's fun. It definitely needs something. Oh. 
Speaking of needing something. So there's a boss portal there. Yeah, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this mess. Because they're just being unfriendly at this point. Okay, so it's the same boss portal. So no reason not to just... Go through that one. Alright. Challenge the virus worm. Hello, worm? Bite me. Um... Okay, then. So this is like the easiest mid-boss or something, apparently? Oh. Okay, that could have gone a little bit worse if if it weren't for the fact that I deleted it from existence at incredibly high speed. I mean, okay, it wasn't incredibly high speed, but it was pretty dang quick. Alright. Yeah, I could get to the last zone too, but I, I think... I think what we've seen, what we've seen... Oh god, and Sol's sphincters all the way down Miseroth. I mean... I'll try and get up in there and see what I can do, but chances are this is going to be a bit more of a doozy than I think it's going to be. These, like, landmines. Eggs? Okay. I'm confused. Got little feelers all over the place. And clearly the arena is kind of a doozy. Okay, but where is Miseroth now? Oh, it's over here now. Okay. Well, I said it was going to honorable Sudoku. Here's the thing, though. I don't Sudoku... My track coach in high school also doubled as a substitute teacher. Ooh, that certainly hurt. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's a lot of just bad darkness looking stuff. And I'm dead. Damn. Should have grabbed the cores, but it's fine. Well, we banked a lot of cores, and I retain a lot of cores, and now I get to spend some cores. New attack skill available, new utilities skill slot available for all stars. I see. So what else do we have? Regenerate HP over time, burst of speed, blink a short distance. And there's also the passive tree upgrade tier 1. Oh, so it gets even bigger! That makes sense. We're gonna grab the regen. Let's be honest here. Nothing else even comes remotely close. Frankly, I should probably just save up to upgrade that one if I decide to do another run. Uh, let's see. Unlock pro progress 7%. Oh, boy. So, yeah, this is one of those get that just keeps going. This is a roguelite through and through. You know, do you, do you want to just play this game endlessly to get as many upgrades as you possibly can? Go nuts. Here we go. All right, anyway, Last Sunshine Rekindled is out now on Steam. I don't actually know what the price point is for it, and I don't know if it's going to be an early access either. Looks like there's a fair bit to go, too. I'm, I'm looking at some later levels, and it looks like it gets uh, pretty nuts later on. I'm curious. But uh, it's definitely one of those where you have to put in a little bit of a grind tax before you unlock all the cool stuff. And it definitely was also a little bit too bullet hell -y for me, but I think that's just because I'm not much of a bullet hell kind of guy. But, with all of that said, neat game all the same. Might be interesting for some of you. Uh, but with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.